Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Actually, I have a really interesting spot here because I have Fortune Crest, which I think I'm going to take, but I also have Metabolic. And I could actually just try and win streak stage one and then use Metabolic to play Fortune in stage three. But I might take Fortune Crest. Um, I mean, we can still probably win streak stage one, maybe. Um, and then get it in once we can. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, we need to get Fortune in. So I can use this term to hit 6 Fortune. Oh, okay, wait, yeah, it's in, it's in, it's in. Okay, wait, I could actually just play... I could already play 7 Fortune if this rolls into Fortune. I think I should put less traits in. Oh, no, no, this is good. I even have Exalted in, which you can't get. Okay, I mean, I have like a 30% chance to roll this into a Fortune Emblem right now. I don't know if that's takeable, but... It's probably fine, right? 30% is probably fine. I forgot it's loot subscription as well. This is my first game of the day, so... Please, Fortune. Oh, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Maybe we can go 10 Mythic. After the Fortune cash. I think Arcanist is always good, too. I think it's probably Mythic. Let's go Mythic. I think I can get Exalted in as well if I wanted. Actually, you know, I should have put Trickshot in too. Because Trickshot plus Exalted, both are traits which you can't actually, you can't get off term. So maybe I should have put Trickshot in. It's okay. It is what it is. It would have been nice to get a Fortune Emblem there and already have two Fortune Emblems, but I mean... The game would probably be too easy, honestly. I feel like the game would be too easy. I've been playing a lot of Fortune recently. Like a lot. Oh, you know what I should have done? I probably should have taken an, an unmakeable emblem in case I... Oh my gosh, Ari, player health. In case I ever hit um, um Pandora's Bench. Maybe I should have taken an unfortunate one, like Arcanist. It's okay. It is what it is. Um, I would love to get some units in here. Like Trist. I mean, I could just sell Barden pre-level. But then I'd love to get Mythic in too, to be honest. Listen, I'm just gonna slam it. Slam it for HP value. Oh, it's this mana. <laughs> It's mana, it's not even HP value. This is rough. This guy looked strong. Dude, Randuin's is so nuts. Like, support items are crazy. I, I'm legit doing zero damage to this guy. I think, I think Fine Vintage made me realize how broken support items were. Like, I think stationary support's so good. And like, uh, help is on the way is so good. Because support items are just so nuts. All of them is good. Like, Zeke's is good, Chas is good. The only awkward ones are like Shroud, Zephyr, but even they give like a team-wide attack, uh, a team-wide buff. So it's like, it's not even that awkward. I'm gonna take Zoe here and get Fortune in if I can. We should be chilling. Nice. Yeah, we should be chilling now. I just play Fortune. And then I can put the, the the Fortune Emblem in every time I'm about to lose. When you have a Fortune Emblem, there's crazy OP tag. There's crazy OP tag. You get to save like HP much better than if you didn't have a Fortune Emblem. Because what you do is you play two Fortune units. You play two Fortune units. You play... Someone who's going to carry the emblem. And then what you want to do. I probably need some some other synergy here. Maybe maybe just put like a frontline unit in. Can I get exalted? Ari, no, Kiana. Yeah, so you'll want to do this. And you'll just want to slam the fortune emblem when you know you're going to lose. Okay, I lose this for sure. I lose this for sure. So then, as soon as it happens, I get fortune in now. It's 
So I can actually make my board a little stronger. Because even if I win the round, it's fine. Because I can just not put the fortune emblem on the board. And you end up saving a lot more HP. I need a Teemo and I'm, and I'm 5 fortune. If I hit 5 fortune at 2-5, like we could probably max cash. Because of the RE player curse. And just the HP healing. We probably could max cash. I'm a little worried about this. Oh wow, I actually hit it. Yeah, well I have to go up a level now. Okay. Honestly, I'm a little worried about this guy. It's fine. He doesn't look that, uh, that weak actually. Okay, I, I actually think we might just be able to max fortune cash here. This is a crazy spot. You see this guy? See, I think I beat this guy, so I'm just not going to slam the fortune emblem. Oh, I can't. I can't not slam it. It's an absolute disaster. It's an absolute disaster. It's an absolute disaster. It's okay. I mean, at least it's only on one ra round one. I actually kind of trolled by not slamming the fortune emblem. Because I thought I just didn't have it activated, but I forgot that I put 5 in, so I just missed my heal. <laughs> it's okay. High key, it's okay. We'll greet this guy later. When he wants to fortune cash. Uh, probably put Rex in. I actually should have played 3 fortune. Just so I could, like, dodge this guy. And it griefed me. It's okay, though. Like, for now, we're fine. Oh my gosh, my HP. I mean, we're looking for Mythic Spats. Fortune Spats. And then we can play 10 Mythic as our cap. Or seven fortune, depending. I would have loved to have this spot where you get a wandering trainer with fortune. Because he can just take fortune spat and it, it's sword. Okay, well we hit mythic spat. Okay, so our cap is literally just ten mythic. That's chill. I, there's no way someone's weaker than me, right? Oh my god, he's AFK. It's an absolute disaster. My destination is clear. Please, 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 please. Why is he DC'd? No, there's no way, man. Okay, please. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're definitely fine. We're definitely fine. Oh my god. Okay, well this guy might grief the other fortune casher. That would be great. That would be really good. I don't think we ever recombob. To be honest, we kind of wanted Econ trait, but like Blistering Strikes is fine. I still don't think I'm healing a 5 fortune, but it's fine. I mean, our iron goal now like, is just play 10 mythic. That's like a... Tiny Titans. Holy moly, what a crazy spot. Would have been great to hit that, actually. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, we cap higher than him. Do we? This guy's 122 HP. I guess he's not 5 fortune yet. I think he's rolling. I think he was legit rolling for 5 fortune. Okay, well, on the bright side, we just play this board until we cash. And at least we heal a bit. We just have to hope we lose to him. But considering he's not playing 5 fortune, I don't know if we do lose to him. Because he's going to have a dummy as his fifth unit. 
And my fifth unit has to be a real unit because I'm playing spatula on it. Which is a bit of a disaster. This fated guy looks super strong. Faded spat and Mumu too. It looks really, really strong. It's okay. I mean, as I said, we need to hit level 10. That's the only problem. Like, we need level 10 to get 10 mythic in. Because we don't have a dummy or anything. I mean, honestly, he looks pretty weak. I might lose to him. I feel like Darius is actually a pretty good unit. Like, there must be something, like, worse. Darkness, we find ourselves. Let's try Senna. I feel like it's lower HP. It was 200 HP lower. Oh, but I put 150 HP on. That's fine. Just getting Duelist is probably pretty good, so it's good that we take it out. I need to buy Mythic units while I go up. We're probably playing some kind of way carry like level 9 board until we can hit 10 mythic. Because like realistically when I cash I'm probably going to be level 9. I mean the nice thing is I don't need Morello because I have blistering strikes. So I can just go straight AP. Like adaptive helm gunblade. I mean honestly I should probably slam another mystic spat but we can do that l later because i could just get another term and then it's another fortune emblem at which and then was that annie no oh, that wasn't i mean i think i just chill like this i mean his board looks pretty pretty bad Or he's just holding Nico 2 on bench. He's rolling. Oh, is he rolling? Oh, he's rolling for fortune. That's awkward. That's so awkward. This poor guy's rolled like 20 gold for Trist. Oh, I'm... Oh, he hit, he hit Nanny. He hit Nanny. Well, we definitely lose to him now. That's good. If he plays us, I'm pretty sure we grief him. Like, pretty sure. He's 27, I'm 23. Okay, I mean, I think we're fine. Right, we push the luck for sure. Five? Yeah, I'm down to cash in five. We survive five for sure. Keep our mythic units. Just make sure that we're gonna survive and that we can win out. Because <laughs> if we can't win out, it's a bit GG. But it's okay, it's okay. Like, surely we're chilling, surely we're chilling. I see, even if I get a fun off this, it means I can play 10 mythic at 9. So, like, like we're actually chilling if I get a fun. I regret not holding the Tom Kench from earlier. But it's fine. I didn't want to win. How much am I? 12. And then I heal 3 around. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Like 4 more rounds of 12 is only 48 HP anyway. And then 4 more rounds I'm healing 12. So I'm basically 72. Am I, I'm actually so chilling. I'm so chilling. I need to level here. Where's the guy I'm scared of? This guy. Yeah, I mean, there's just no way. It, like, I'm chilling. Like, I'm hikey kind of scared here. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm actually losing. That was hella close. Walmogs is slammable. It's a boot. Not a boot, man. Okay, like, what's my tank item then? Walmogs. E-claw. Ram 
though. Yeah, sounds good to me. Keep them all on bench. Um, anything we would play? Can we put Mythic in? Not really. It's a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. It's an absolute disaster. It's an absolute disaster. I hate this guy. He's my sworn enemy. It's okay. I mean, honestly, it's probably better. We just lose. Well, it's, it's definitely not better. That was a cope, but like, it's probably fine. We probably still went out with 10 Mythic. It's just, it's just a bit of a disaster, isn't it? I shouldn't have leveled to seven. I actually could have lost this for sure. What a mistake, what a mistake. Remember, there's always someone out to get you. We grab bag. It's probably Martyr. I get a lot of HP off uh, Mythic. Like the skin just not even in. It should be something like this. Well, I think we can kill a unit or two. I probably don't win another fight, which is good. We we need to stay at 30 luck at least. Like 30 luck is tome cash. And we should stay at 30 luck if we just lose the next three. We might have to win one. We'll see. If we can get cash a tome and get a fortune emblem, we're back in business. I mean, honestly, even if we get a mythic spat, we're back in back in business. This guy's double double fated crown. Honestly, like one more spat and we might actually be in trouble because ten fade caps out higher than ten mythic. Okay, two more. We get seven. I'm pretty sure, let me look at luck tables. Luck tables at 11. I'm pretty sure 40 is another cash. Yeah, the breakpoint's 40 luck after 30. I see we probably want 30 luck more than, than 40, which sounds a bit crazy, but. From 30 luck, we can get the term. I feel like the term's actually like insane for us. They given our spot. I don't think there's a sage mythic, so let's just keep these. I'm probably playing into Arcanists. After cash. Yeah, we kinda wanna win one. Although I I don't I don't mind the 40 cash. It's, like, it's not bad. I can't force myself to 40 cash here, because I can't make my board strong enough to win. And next one will give me 44. I mean, I can try. I guess I can try. Without spending Econ, because I don't want to spend Econ. I have to take Tear here. Or if there's a Spat, I'll take Spat. Oh. oh, actually, you know, maybe I just take Udia. Yeah, it's Wukong. Wukong is Wukong. Like... Really good unit, and I can even slam Heavenly Spat instead now. Mythic Spat, Heavenly Spat. And I can just hope Loop Description gives me another Mythic Spat later. I probably still play Fire Fortune, um, but then I probably try and like kill a couple units here. So. Wukong in. Listen. Send it out. Allow you in. Expat Wukong. Which is bad. Soraka, I guess. I mean, honestly, I probably need Sindarin. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine. I might even win this.
Yeah, I probably don't win this, but it's a good loss. It's a great loss, in fact. Boom. Dude, we're going such a beast unit. Nice, four unit loss. Not bad. I wonder if we can still fast nine. What do we get? Oh, Radiant Nashes. And Alessandra. Bro. That is not bad. Mythic Spat. Radiant Ashes. And away. Holy. I'm actually chilling. Yeah, we just drop fortune and play the mythic now. Oh, I see. I, I probably should have played Radiant Nashes on Huey. That was a mistake. I just wanted list to farm infinite, like infinite gold. This guy cashed. You got a fun. Nice list. Dude, honestly, like Marty is so crazy. I think that's a comp. Oh, she didn't farm. Okay, I, I mean, this needs to farm more, yeah. I can reforge the fortune emblem, actually. That's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea whatsoever. I'm happy to give this guy a loss, man. <laughs> After he's griefed my whole game. Oh, wait, I didn't put anything on my square. I'm reforging it. That's not bad. Literally playable. Um, I mean, I can drop Bard for Lux here. I guess Wukong's probably out. It sucks because I lose Heavenly. So I don't love it, but it's probably out. I'm going Death Gap this year. And then we want to get a tier. I need to. Oh, that's in. Death cap plus tier. No, and it's probably Morello, isn't it? I don't love it. Let's go Starex Wukong. Uh, death cap. I mean, I have three Arcanist. I guess I could drop Lux for something. I also have infinite gold. <laughs> I'm like Giga Rich. Maybe we drop Lux and play 7 Mythic next turn. That's probably the right idea. It's nice to have this Annie though. It's actually huge. I feel like this is farming me like less components than normal. Like normally she, she legit pops like at least 2 or 3 units of fight. The cash guy still losing. That's not a good sign for me. It means everyone's super strong. But also I would love for him to lose the game, so... We take those. Let's get this stuff in. I see Cho's probably better than Bard, but... Mythic. Just have to make sure we're keeping an eye out on like what we could buy, like what could potentially fit in. Uh, the thing is, Orn can definitely fit in too. Rakan Taya? Uh, I could play Soraka. I'd have to play Soraka Diana. I don't really want to play Soraka Diana, but like Rakan is Rakan. I mean, I'm not playing on. I'd rather play. I think two is pretty good. Let's sell a bard. Come on, Lissandra. Farm me some, some components. Do your job. Nice. Not bad, not bad. We're going two. Uh, we're probably going towards 10 then. So we have the chance of 10 mythic at least.
Okay, so I'm thinking Kabuko's out. What's in? Rakan? I lose Bruza. It's like not even that good. Azia? Azia Cog would be great, because then I'm four invoker. Like, Haiki, this Kabuko guy is kind of a beast. Rakan over Kabuko. I just lose Bruiser. It's like not that bad. Lissandra has to get duped. What pairs do I have? These are all pairs. I'm kind of down to sell Azia, but I won't yet. Oh, you got for me, Liss. Component? No. I mean, the Annie's so tanky. Wukong's doing 7.8k damage. Like, I actually think Wukong's giga broken. I think he's the highest win rate 5 cost by a mile. That tip helm's pretty good for Huey. I will go for this too if I can. Okay, get mana gen. Mana gen's definitely not bad. We can just put mana gen on our back line. What's up? Uh... That's story weaver, because I might get a spout off loot subscription, and I don't have an open tier, so it's a bit awkward, but it's okay. Not too bad. I mean, there must be something I can put in here over Kabuko. I could put Sage in. I could put a Mumu in and then replace, like, add a set next level. Who am I missing? Just Cogmore? I have the Cho. Yeah, just Cogmore. I need to keep an eye out for Cog. Might be hard to hit a Cogmore, honestly. This guy's level 950. I mean, I, honestly, my board's really good. Like, 7 Mythic Wukong 2 is no joke. And Lissandra's just like such a nuts unit. Is this me? Please tell me it's me. Let's go. Boom. Nice. Good job, team. Sunfire? I don't really care about a Sunfire. Oh, the other Fortune Cash guy lost. What the heck? I feel like we had such a free, free start. Like having fortune on RE Kiss is GG. That's insane, actually. Sunfire? It's just never Sunfire. It's really just never Sunfire. Okay, I can drop Kabuko. Annie. Kabuko Annie. But I'm just not dropping Annie ever. Just my main tank. I legit drop Kabuko for like a Rakan 2 though. It just can't be worse. Rakan 2 is Rakan 2. One more component, go Lissandra. MT, MT. I'm a little worried. Like that we might not be able to win out, but... I'm gonna have 10 Mythic if I hit a Cog more. It's just, am I really going to hit a Cogmore? <laughs> like, am I even going to find a Cogmore? Maybe not. I drop Annie, Kabuko, and then level. And then I'm 10 Mythic. I just don't, I don't feel like my front line's that good if I do that. Like, losing Annie is kind of rough. Maybe if I hit a remover, which I mean. Uh, Hui item, Nash's Tooth, for sure. Probably Eternal Winter or Visage. Like, it would be I Force Wukong, but I can't remake Wukong. I actually might just roll at 9. Because my odds of hitting, um. What's it called is way worse. Wukong. Uh, no, Cogmore. I don't think I buy this. Like, I'm rolling for a Cogmore at 9. What has my life come to? But I'm pretty sure it's correct.
Because if I roll at 8, at 10, I'm just never going to find a Kog'Maw ever. Okay, all these one costs. I had the chance. I mean, at least I also have the chance of hitting, um, like, my two co two stars. I feel like two-starring everything's pretty important. Elite 3 could be an option. Cho. Cho is basically a Kog'Maw. I'm actually going to dupe a Cho. Actually, maybe I just go Lilia 3. I'm going to slow roll above 50, though. Till 10 Mythic. Is that even a Kog reroll? It's none, right? Okay. Well, it's hittable. It's at least hittable. Yeah, I'm down for Yone to ult onto Kog'Maw here. I mean, Kog'Maw onto... Oh, wait. I've literally just frozen him. I mean, teacuped him. Dude, Lissandra is so good into Yone. Like he, he legit wasn't allowed to play the game there. He really wasn't allowed to play the game. Okay, we're looking for Nautilus 3, Lilia 3, and a Kog'Maw. One of those things is actually way better than the others, and it's the one you don't expect. Actually, it's 10 Mythic better than Nautilus 3. Nautilus 3 stuns for 8 seconds. Maybe not. Look at these one costs. Man, we hit two Cho'Gaths, no Kog'Maws. You hate to see it. Yeah, do I have everything two star? I do. Yeah, I see this Kabuko really should be something else. I don't know what I'm doing. Just chuck a set in there. I mean, this guy's... Nah, this guy's, this guy's a beast. 3.3k HP, he's been stacking. I guess I can... Uh, I can do Huey. No Huey 2 yet. This guy's close to 1 3. I should keep an eye out for horns. Gain. Pisa 3, 1 off. Yeah, I'm actually gonna roll to 20 here. So I'm a little scared. Nice. Oh, and a cog. Alright, the Lily is in the ones are going. I'm just holding the ones. Spat? It's not the spat I need. I, like, I don't have a, an open tier. I might take it and just pray Lissandra farms a tier, honestly. Also, loops is great. This guy got it. I think I'm going spat. This is not that bad. We just full item. I mean, I'm a little scared of the Kaiser 3, but how much we can do about it if he hits, he hits. He's one off. This guy's still two off one. I mean, he can't hit anymore. That's the blessed thing. Okay, we're 10 Mythic next level, or next turn. And then we're chilling. I, I don't I don't know. Does 10 Mythic beat Kaiser 3? Are we actually chilling? I don't know. I'll be honest, I can't answer that one. Dude, look at the Kabuko, man. He has my one cost two star. He got 3.3k HP. He doesn't even have a Mythic spell on him. Yeah, Everfrost is so broken as well. I think Everfrost is such a good item. I actually think it's so good. Probably the best one item out there. Like, just making people not able to do damage. Like, stunning people, CCing people is crazy. I can sell the ones now. I mean, the most important thing is we deny Kaisa. So, I'm actually gonna roll here. Wow, I went level 10 first roll. I found Kogmore on a 5% chance. I'm a beast! Um, this, this, drop Annie. Ultra Gath. Uh, full tank here. Let's give him Everfrost. Uh, let's get this guy the other tank items. Nice. Two, two mega tanks. Ten mythic. 
We probably even beat that, uh, the Kaiser 3. I feel like 10 Mythic's just so much raw stats. Wait, I say that, but like, Haiki, I'm kind of nearly lost Kaiser 1, Kaiser 2. Okay, it's not that close, to be fun, fair. Okay, we do play here. Never mind. Am I really wasting my dupe on a Kog'Mo too? I mean, there's nothing else to do. I had a Kaiser. Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, and now it's just me versus Yone. I'm pretty sure I always beat Yone. Like, having a list in your comp just auto wins you against all Yones. It's actually crazy. Okay, I mean, it's over. I don't even need to hold anything. It's actually over. Nice little fortune cash game into 10 mythic. Not bad, not bad. Uh, it was getting a little techy there. After I lost a couple of fortune rounds, that's never great, but it's alright, we made it in the end. Adaptive Helm. Sonya's. Oh, Trixie is pretty crazy because I have mythic bonus, right? Like she has this Lily dupe has 243 AP. And <laughs> that's insane. That's actually insane. They're, like, they're gonna do so much damage. Let's have them each corner and Hui in the middle. I like it. And then we ult Yone. Oh wait, I moved it away from ulting Yone. It's fine, we ult set. I guess. Although he's gonna be un yeah, like, unultable in that when he ults. Okay, well Yone wasn't allowed to play the game. I apologize. GG everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far. Thank you.